Navigation in iOS apps is boring. Well, not until Hero. So if you want to build out this awesome transition, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because we are going to detail out the steps you need to take in code. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at these awesome transitions. And as you know, we are going to use Hero. So go ahead and take a look at the Hero transitions slash Hero GitHub repository. And if we scroll a little bit down, you will see some GIFs as examples. We are going to use this slide one, but you could use anything that you want from here. Now, again, if you want to use these nice transitions, you will have to uh, use Hero transitions. Okay, so if you want to use them, you just need to clone, uh, use Git or checkout with SVM using the web URL. So we are going to copy this web URL like so. And uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, open up a new Xcode project. And I have already created a, a, a template Xcode project that we are going to use. So we are not just building out UI, we are just going to focus on Hero. Okay, so. Uh, let me just go through what we have here so you get a main understanding. So I have removed the main.storyboard. If you don't know how that does, take a look at my previous videos. I do that a lot. So yeah, in the scene delegate, let me just move that out of the way so we can see a little bit more. So I have uh, created the window with the window scene and then made that key and visible and set the root view controller uh, as the main view controller, and that is a UI navigation controller. Now, uh, Hero works if the navigation controller is inside the navigation stack. So you have to take uh, that in mind. So that's why we have the root view controller as the UI navigation controller. Okay, what is up next? Let's take a look at the main view controller. And uh, I have already uh, imported, so let me just go to our Swift packages, there we go. I have already imported Spark UI so I can really easily uh, build out these UIs. Uh, and uh, Hero, if you wanted to, you could just add in Hero uh, for whatever. Yeah, you could just use plain old UI kit. You don't have to use Spark UI, but it's much, much faster. Okay, and by the way, Spark UI already includes Hero 1.0.5. Okay, so in the main view controller, Let's just see what we have here. We have imported Spark UI and Layoutless, so we can lay out those awesome uh, views. We have an image view, a title label, which says Hero is awesome. And in the view did load, I set the background color to system background, so it's uh, white because uh, I have the light mode enabled. And uh, with the help of uh, Kingfisher slash Spark UI, I am setting the image from this URL. Now this URL is Pixum and uh, it is really, really awesome. Let me just go there, Lorem Pixum. Uh, it is kind of getting you these awesome images and all you have to do is just uh, follow these URLs. As you can see, I am using uh, the one with the seed and I'm setting the seed, not Pixum, just one, two, three and set the width and the height to the width and height of our uh, views frame size uh, width slash height. Okay, so that's that. And this set image again, it's all from Spark UI. Go ahead and set it as a package in your app. Okay, and the indicator type is activity. Yeah, when it's uh, downloading, it's just spinning uh, in the center of that image view. Okay, finally, we are adding the image view onto our view. We are just basically stacking as a vertical, but because this is a simple image view, we are just simply centering it, like filling the whole view. And uh, the title label is centered in the uh, view, centering in parent. Again, this is from layoutless, really, really simple layout for our views. Now, finally, we add an action to our title label. And for now, this is just creating a details view controller and pushing it on the navigation controller stack. And because we don't want to see that navigation bar, we are just hiding that navigation bar with this line of code. And we have this view will appear and view will disappear. They will come in handy when we are going to use Hero. Now, finally, let's take a look at the details view controller, what we have here. 
Now, if you saw the animation, you've seen that the image is kind of contracting and the title is coming a little bit down from the center of the view. Now, uh, we have the image view, the title label, again, uh, the same text here and the uh, text alignment center, system black, we, we are changing the color of that title label. And we also have some details label with some lower ipsum text, of course. And here we also set the image use image to the same image. Now, because this is cached, once it's downloaded, it's just loading it from memory. Okay, uh, we are just setting a vertical stack, uh, yeah, just one above the other. And we uh, add with the help of Spark UI, we just add a simple swipe down gesture recognizer, which basically pops the view controller from the navigation controller stack. And Oh, yeah. let me just delete this because, spoiler alert, this will be when we are going to use Hero. So we are going to add those in the view will appear and view will disappear. How awesome is that? Okay, so let's just build and run and see how this looks like uh, right now. And if we just move to our QuickTime player, we can see what we got here. Okay, here is our image and hero is awesome, the label, and when I tap on it, it just slides with the basic navigation controller animation to the right. Uh, and if I just swipe down on the image, I'm just going to dismiss that, like pop that, because yeah, we are dismissing models. And basically that's it. Now we want to animate it with the slide up and that will be really, really awesome. So let's go back to our main view controller. And first thing first, yep, we need to enable hero. And uh, uh, for that, we are going to use some extensions and go ahead and click the link down in the description so you can download this hero helper uh, file. It's just a bunch of UI view controller and UI navigation controller extensions that will help you easily navigate hero. Because if you take a look at the documentation, on the Heroes uh, uh, GitHub repository. Yeah, it's, it's kind of great, but uh, I made these extensions so it can be much, much easier and much, much faster. If you just see, we need a red view, black view, we need to set the hero ID. We will talk about that in just a moment, but yeah, it's kind of understandable, but uh, you don't know if you want to set the self hero is enabled to true. When do you do that? So these extensions take care of that. So let's go back here and yeah, you could just take a look at it if you wanted to. But let's go back into the main view controller and in the view will appear, let's enable hero and in the view will disappear, disable hero. Now, uh, this needs to be done. So we need to disable hero also because uh, if we don't, the back button, if you have a back button by the default, the navigation back button, if you have that, it will not work. So let's do the same in the details view controller also. So in the view will appear, enable hero, and in the view will disappear, disable hero. And basically that's the setup in whichever view controller you want to use that, just do this. In the view will appear and the view will disappear. And if you are using Spark UI and you are using a S view controller, this is added automatically. You don't even have to do that. So let's go back to our main view controller and let's uncomment or comment out this push view controller. And what we need to do is, uh, Inside this uh, extension that you just added to your file, there's something called show hero. As you can see, show hero view controller. Now this is a UI view controller extension. So that's why it's popping up uh, automatically. So show hero, the view controller, and that is the controller. So let's just build and run and see how this looks like. Oh, and uh, we need to set here self because we are in a closure. So self show hero. So tapping on hero is awesome and swiping on the image. So it's kind of the same as you can see, but now we are using the power of hero. So what we want to do here is animate the image and the title. So yeah, it's really, really easy to do so. And first thing you need to understand that 
Hero is using IDs, so we want to add an ID for the image and then associate that, uh, give that same ID in the next view controller. So, first of all, let's set the uh, image, sorry, image view hero ID equals, let it be image view, why not? And next up, we want to set the controller's image view. And while we are here, let's just do the same uh, uh, at the same place. So self, or rather not self, because we already have available our controller, image view dot hero ID equals image view. So if I paste that in there, that will be great. So now let's just build and run and see the amazing difference and with just a few lines of code. So let me just go to our QuickTime player and let's see how this looks like. So tapping on Hero is awesome. It's really, really nice. But as you can see, the, the title is kind of popping in and popping out. I don't really like that. So let's fix that also. And again, with two lines of code, we will be able to do that. So self, you already guessed it, title label dot hero ID equals, and let's just use title label. You could use a UUID string if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Make sure that it is, uh, it is unique. So title label dot hero ID equals title label. And that's it. You have to just add these IDs and we are done. So let me just unlock this and get that final sweet transition. How awesome is that? Well, hero is awesome. Now I want you to comment down below which is your favorite hero. Oh, I mean, which is your favorite transition in hero. So I will see you in the comments down below. And that's how easy it is to build out these awesome transitions with the help of Hero. Now, I want you to hit that notification bell because in the next video, we are going to talk about auto layout with the help of layoutless. Now, I want you to go down in the comments down below and comment your favorite hero slash transition. And as always, I will see you in the next one.